Hello from Tirana, Albania. We are right in the heart of the capital city. When I was flying in, I saw all the landscape around, mountains, greenery, and so I wanna go get some good views of that. There is a lift here that should take us up. So let's go and see what we can see. Behind me, we have the cloud, which is a piece of modern art. It travels around, it gets installed at different locations. I believe it was supposed to be here for two years, and they said that six years ago. As we are walking down Top Tani Street here, we can see the Spanish flags overhead. Before those Spanish flags were there, it was the flags of the United States of America because recently it was July 4th. And before that, it was actually flags of Great Britain because they were celebrating something to do with the King of England. So they're very good at celebrating these different international dates here. There's a musical staff for a sidewalk and where you have the benches is where you have the notes. But don't try to play the melody because the guy who created this did not know anything about music or music theory. He just knew what it looked like. As we continue looking for that lift, the issue that I'm having is, I don't actually know what it's called. Someone told me it was called Dai T1. So I'm kind of asking around a little bit for that. And then I think there's actually a bus station that we can head to and they might know. From what I understand, it's supposed to be the blue bus, bus L11. Here's the movie theater. These American movies will be played here in English and they'll just have Albanian subtitles. On Top Tani Street, we have the castle here in Tirana. They will be the first ones to tell you that it's, eh, it's not so much of a castle as it is just kind of a wall, maybe a little bit of a fortress. Now there's some nice restaurants and stuff inside and some souvenir shops and a nice place to come and hang out with your friends. Across from the castle, we have the mall. So you can see it's a very modern mall and I was actually just looking for some camera equipment. Also got some more information on the lift. I learned how to spell Daiti, which is helpful. I can put it in the map. It's the name of the mountain. Like I said, I do know the supposed bus that'll take me there. I'm looking at my map a little bit. It's like a 45 minute drive by car. I don't think it's quite the right place, but we'll see if we can find the bus. The bus station is just right over here. Plenty of cabs behind me, just in case I need them. I don't think I'll need them. I'd rather take the bus. <laughs> part of the adventure, it's part of the experience. Friendship monument between the people of Albania and Kuwait, who knew? All right, here's L11. I've learned a few things. I don't know if it's called Dai T1. I think on the map it's actually called Dai T Express. So that's good to know, especially when you're navigating. The bus was good. It's nice to use public transportation. How much does a bus trip across town cost? It costs 40 leka, which is 40 cents. You can't beat that. When I first got on the bus, of course I want to buy a ticket. So I asked the driver and I didn't exactly understand him. It seemed like maybe he said, wait. So I just went in the back and started riding. Eventually a guy came around to collect money from people. So it worked really well. One tip is just make sure you have some cash or even change is better. From the bus stop, it's about a six minute walk. Take a couple right turns. Now we're heading up the hill as we've made our way to the top. We're waiting for old, I almost said Dai T1. We're waiting for the Dai T Express. They're testing it to see if it works, I guess. So everyone is just waiting in line. The line is not moving. We'll see what happens here at the Dai T Express. The update is it's not running, but we don't know when it'll be back. Now it's not running at all. I tried to get some views even from up on top of this hill at the base of the cable car here that show some of the surrounding area. You can see Tirana is nestled in between all of these mountains. When I was coming in on the plane, I've never been to Colombia, but it felt like Colombia to me, I guess, from what I've seen on TV and in the movies. Someone else who I was talking to here, she said that the city and a lot of the city reminds her of Afghanistan and she spent a lot of time in Afghanistan. The bad news is I may have missed another lift. I missed the other one in Sofia, Bulgaria. But the good news is there's a museum that's a five minute walk from here. It's called Bunk Art. It's a communist museum inside of a bunker. I'm gonna go there for an hour or so, then I'll come back and check on the lift. Here's Bunk Art 1, there's Bunk Art 2, which is in the city center. We can also see some of the mountains that surround the area.
on my way to the inside of the bunker we came through that tunnel paid for the ticket and now it's about a 250 meter walk to get to the entrance of the bunker and also from here i could see the lift was running but maybe they were just testing it again we'll see we'll go to the bunker and then we'll check on the lift after that the bunker is an atomic fallout shelter can you imagine going in there sealing that door going inside living inside hunkering down for a long cold I guess nuclear winter or chemical warfare type winter. I'm walking out of the bunker area. This is the tunnel to get back to the bunker. The bunker was interesting. Honestly, one of the more interesting parts I thought was just the thick, thick doors and how deep it goes. Back outside, it was nice and cool in there. It's hot i see a sign right here 34 degrees the bunker was very interesting i think just being inside of it was probably the best part seeing how everything was constructed the different rooms the first thing you do you go past those super thick doors then you get into the decontamination area after that it was the leader his name is envar horja the leader of the country for decades during communism he had his quarters there and then it was all a bunch of museum stuff where you could read about the communist history of albania i saw some other people in there who were waiting for the lift also and instead of the lift they did the same thing that i did they came to bunk art now i think i'm going to find something to eat and then i'm going to head back up to the lift hopefully it'll be working i have my doubts though i'm pretty hungry i guess i'm going to do some carb loading here how much do you think this pizza costs it's, uh, it's not like too thin of a crust. The pizza and the water, but, and of course it's, uh, it's family size, by the way. The pizza and the water, $8. Can't beat it. The $8 family size pizza hit the spot and so did the water, even though I should probably go home and drink like another liter. I've heard now that the lift isn't gonna work for the rest of the day, but it might be working tomorrow, so. I'm gonna catch the bus back to the center and then we'll try again tomorrow to get those views. After a warm bus ride, I'm now 40 cents lighter and back to the city center. Take two, welcome to Tirana, Albania, the capital city of this great country. Today we are going to try that lift again. <laughs> but first I'm actually going on a communist tour. It costs $20 starts at the Palace of Culture. We'll see how it goes. We're at the steps of the Opera House. We came, we waited, and we're leaving. The tour is not running today. There was a group of us just waiting around and we got in touch with the tour provider and they said it's not running today. But by the way, if you do wanna go on the free tour, it starts from right here at the Opera House. This is Skanderbeg Square. And I've gone on the free tour a couple times. It's a good tour. It tells you about the history of Albania, the history of Tirana, shows you some of the sites here in Tirana also. I just met some very nice gentlemen here at Skander Bay. Some Jehovah's Witnesses. The Jehovah's Witnesses are here. But in all seriousness, they were very nice. We had a nice conversation. Let's talk about the lift. Now I am the good guide <laughs> that I wasn't yesterday to take you to the lift. The bus to the lift, like I said, L11 leaves from right over here. So the main square, Skanderbeg Square is behind us. And we're going to Daiti Express. Just behind the Opera House. So, and yeah, here's the Intercontinental. Here's would be the Opera House. And then here's the bus. After a 20 or so minute ride on the bus, dropped off in the same neighborhood. Now I do know the way and I can show you. So you exit the bus. Keep going straight take the first right around that corner now we're traveling up this hill it's about let's say a eight minute walk to the base of the lift walk to the top of the hill see this sign and then continue to the daiti express i see a lot more buses here than yesterday and i don't see anybody waiting around as much as they were yesterday i think that's a good sign <laughs> Got my ticket, they've successfully taken my money. It's about a 15 to let's say 20 minute cable car ride up the hill. And then you're at the top, there's all kinds of stuff up here. There's mini golf, there's this overlook where you can take some nice pictures and you get a great view of everything. I think I mentioned that when I was flying in, I thought the place looked a lot like Colombia. So what do you think? Very green surrounding, very lush surrounding 
hilly. The mountains are all around the city. White buildings with the red roof. I actually ran into someone from Columbia and she said that, yes, it does remind her of her home. Feels a little bit like an amusement park. The hotel is working. You can get a room there, but the very top, the lounge is closed. And I have a feeling it's been closed ever since the <laughs> pandemic, which is a shame because there'd be some really nice views up there. There's little bits of sheetrock and the carpet. When you look through the locked door, some of the roof is starting to crumble a little bit. We're at the top, but you can't get out. It looks like a really nice veranda with some beautiful 360 views. All right, right here, there's a nice kiddie pool. All these doors are locked. Wait, there's a key. The lounge bar, floor seven, was closed, but you can walk down. <laughs> and now I'm just on, on this little lookout here. It's very nice up here. It's quite peaceful. It's cool. Other than the broken glass on the ground. It's cooler than it was <laughs> down below. I've seen some horses. We've seen the mini golf. There's apparently some chicken coops. Behind the hotel, there's a shooting range. They're shooting at these plastic bottles, maybe with a BB gun. There's also some horses. And then there's what I think is an abandoned hotel over there. <laughs> Behind the abandoned hotel, there's a path where you can go hike all the way to the top. It takes about, I'd say probably 90 minutes, maybe two hours. The grade going up is fairly steep, but I think it's doable for most folks. You get a little tired on the way up and then you obviously come back down. Coming down, I think is when it's more dangerous. It's easier to go up the hill and to kind of lean into the hill. You feel like you can catch yourself better and then you're coming down and you're always putting the brakes on. That's when you might twist your ankle or something. I would love to go to the top of the mountain, but there's not enough time to go up and come down and to catch the tram. Look at this. Off to the side, of course, there's a bunker because they have bunkerized the entire country during communist times. What do you think? Is this a communist hotel? Maybe a school? At the main entrance, we have some new art. I have a feeling this is not socialist art. This is very new. This is what it looks like underneath the main stairs, I guess you could say. You go up the stairs, there's a little pavilion. This is what's underneath. Looks like we are now standing in the middle of what was once the auditorium. I'm starting to think that it's probably more of a summer camp. Maybe for the little pioneer boys and girls. More relatively fresh paint. This is actually really interesting. A lot of uh, broken plaster on the ground here. It's also really peaceful. It's really nice here. To be honest, you come all the way up into the mountains. It's nice, it's cool up here. It's way cooler than it was down below in the city. You're up here in the fresh air, the trees, the breeze. Now we have horses. I don't know if there were horses around when this place was fully functioning. And on the back side, looking back out into that uh, trail, the trail's right here. If it was a summer camp for kids, would there be some bunk beds in here? Some furniture. Here's the south staircase. And then in the middle, we have that balcony area. So here's another bathroom. And then you've got this room and it's connected. And then the balcony, which is really nice, or it was, <laughs> right? I don't know what this is or what this was. Was it a summer camp? If so, was it a good one? Did kids come here and have fun? It's really interesting. It's like a trip through time. And I think to myself, it seems like it would be a fun summer camp to come to. I don't know if that's naive. I have no idea if it was or not. Maybe for some people it was. Like I said, you're up here in the mountains. The air is fresh. You're up here with your friends, presumably. It looks like somebody's been sweeping and also doing some sheetrock. This is new and then it got smashed, I guess. Do we dare descend into the basement? I think this will be the back of that auditorium. Now there's this door, which was going outside on the north. And then here is the auditorium underneath that main plaza. So now we're on the stage. 
as always your comments are more than welcome if you know what that used to be if you know some of the story of this abandoned place please enlighten me in the comments i'd love to hear from you this time of day going in there piece of cake other than <laughs> other than in the basement basement meh. i never know if i'm gonna get bit by a rat or something i can imagine going in there at night it'd be a different story it's a beautiful night on top of the mountain here where the hotel is kind of an amusement park area for kids i guess this is the skating rink i also saw a bunch of rabbits and a peacock in the cage with the rabbits i didn't see any chickens though it's about a quarter to six and the last ride down on the cable car is at 6 30. Forty minutes later and 40 cents lighter on the bus we arrived back in the city center i would say the tram ride down took about 20 minutes to come down the hill and then the bus ride takes about 20 minutes to come back to the city center we're just right outside of skender bay square well we did it we made it to the top of the mountain it only took two tries but it was well worth the effort yesterday we saw the bunk art today we saw tirana from above we ran into a friendly peacock we saw that abandoned building up there was it a camp? Was it a school? Was it a hotel? If you know, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you're out there watching and you want to say hello, I would love to hear from you as well. I'm out here on the journey. You're here with me sharing the experience, and I'm glad to have you along. So until next time from Skander Bay Square here in Tirana, Albania, thank you so much for watching, and see you soon.